Waikato River runs down from Lake Tarpo and through some of the North Island's richest farmlands. Highway number one and the main trunk railway run alongside the river. The local sheep get used to traffic noise at an early age. One of the riverside towns is Huntley, 20 miles north of Hamilton, 60 miles south of Auckland. It's a small place with a population of about 5,000. Coal mining has provided its bread and butter for 50 years. The motorist driving through to Auckland doesn't see the town. He sees the main street, which is just like any other small town main street. But he doesn't see the people. And people, not streets, make a town. Mr. Smith, when did you come to Huntley? 1905. For what reason? To better my position I, in England. I was a coal miner and conditions were very poor. And I'd heard about Huntley and came here to try it. As a coal miner? As a coal miner. How long were you actually in the mines in Huntley? Eight years. Can you tell us something about Huntley at that time? What was it like? Well, just a mine in town, no communication, no bridge across the river, and uh, a few settlers uh, trying to make farms. In fact, I made one myself. I Any shops? Uh, well, there was uh, just one big shop. Uh, Green and Colebrook had a shop on this site where we are now. And then you gave up coal mining. What did you do then? Bought a, an improved land and started farming. How did you get into the motor business? Well, I had uh, a bit of money saved up, apart from what I put back into the farm. And I bought this section from Farmer's Trading Company when they moved up into the town. Mr. Smith, you have obviously made a success of your business life here. Do you think there's still the same opportunity for young people today in Huntley? Yes, I do. That was 84-year-old Mr. George Smith, managing director of a very prosperous business firm here in Huntley. But Huntley does have its problems. For years, it's been dependent on coal. The coal is not now required. It's stockpiled. Young people are leaving Huntley. They're going north to Auckland south down to Hamilton for their jobs. Three years ago, a group of men got together to try and better the position. One of them was Mr. Alan Jupp, home appliance dealer and borough councillor. Three years ago, the council decided to set up an industrial development committee uh, with consisting of three councillors, uh, and they co-opted members of the various service organisations. The idea behind this was that we wanted to try and bolster the mining industry, which we felt was suffering the same fate as occurred in the west coast of the South Island, uh, another mining district similar to ours, and we wanted to try and anticipate what had happened to them if possible. Twenty million tonnes of coal lie between Huntley and the sea. And the other mines around Huntley, Glen Afton, McDonald, Renan, Pukimairo, have millions of tons more. Each week the stockpiles grow higher and higher. There's not the demand for coal these days. Even if there was a big demand, it wouldn't solve all Huntley's labour problems. More machines might be employed, but not many more men. Miners who work underground still have one of the hardest and most dangerous jobs in the world, machinery notwithstanding. Now, while these men might not encourage their sons to become miners, they find it hard to believe that the good working conditions they battled for over the years won't matter so much in the future. Well, I think we have a future as long as we can hold conditions that we've got. The, uh, <coughs> the, the conditions of the mine is what we try to make a standard, and if we can keep that up, well, we certainly have a future in, the, in this industry.
earliest single customer of the Huntley Mines is the Merry Merry Coal Steam Power Station a few miles downriver. If heavy industries can be brought into Huntley District, much more coal would be used locally. And the Industrial Development Committee wants to see this happen. But it's also interested in industries which don't use coal for fuel. The committee hopes that Huntley can attract as wide a variety of industries as possible. So does the mayor of the town, Dr Willoughby. As a borough, we're solid without being spectacular, and we intend to keep it that way. But while we keep the average rate of increase in rate of growth of New Zealand, the coal mining industry doesn't increase its output because of competition from other fuels. And we want to see to it that in future we have job opportunities for our young people, particularly in other aspects of effort. So therefore, we must watch all other avenues which we can open for the future employment of our youth. The future for the town's existing industries looks good. Example, in the past five years, the brickworks have developed so fast that plans are now being made for works expansion during the next 30 years. men are on the staff. In a few years there could be 60 more. While busy encouraging new industries, Huntley is doing all it can to help the growth of firms already in the town. In our industry, making uh, building bricks, uh, refractories, spy bricks, uh, our main needs are for good raw materials, good cheap fuel, coal, and uh, good plant and the men to operate it. In Huntley, we think we have all these things. In this uh, pleasant industrial town in the country, our developments ahead, we hope to uh, uh, provide increased opportunities for employment and uh, so help to promote the prosperity of the community. Well, now looking around me, I can see that you you're in engineering workshops, but just what do you produce here? Mainly heavy earth moving equipment, and of late we've been specialising in uh, earth moving compactors. Well, that's saving a lot of overseas funds. Yes, all these machines have been hitherto Im imported. Well, you're not mass producers, you produce a specific job for a specific purpose. Yes, we do runs of up to half a dozen of any particular item. Why do you find Huntley particularly suited for your work? Well, it's so central from a point of view of distribution. And, uh, of course, we are on all the main lines of communication through both islands. We have the main truck and main highway running through the town. And I see in years to come, we'll have uh, river transport also. You're handy to coal? Yes, well, of course, that affects any larger industry that may wish to come here. And, of course, we have uh, a very good labour supply. At the present time, there are busloads of workers who go from Huntley to Hamilton every morning. It's true that a number of the pupils leaving Huntley College this year will go to work in Hamilton because that's where the best jobs are. But in four or five years' time, other youngsters may find their opportunities right here. Even now, there are those who can see the possibility of making a career in Huntley. Well, at the end of this year, I will go up to university and take a science degree. The degree will take four years and at the end of the four years I will either um, take up teaching or go into industry depending on which offers the best opportunities. If I take up teaching I will definitely come back to Huntley and if I go into industry I will come back to Huntley if there are any openings for me. The people here are working to make Huntley grow. They believe in their town and chances are the years ahead will prove them right. <laughs>